welcome back all of you myself laikur rehman today we are going to study a new topic that is values of biodiversity so this is a flow chart of human activities and the biodiversity which is related with each other the first is human population and the size and resources which are used and the human activities which is the agriculture economic industry activities so these activities have direct effects and indirect effects in this video lecture we will see these direct effects and indirect effects what are they and how are they going to affect the biodiversity in economic terms or economically there are main two types of values of biodiversity they are direct values and indirect values and the third is the optional value but the main two types are direct and indirect now what is direct values direct values are concerned with the enjoyment or satisfaction received directly by biological resources they can be relatively easily observed and measured often by assigning prices to them so direct values are of two types consumptive use and productive use consumptive use is non market value whereas productive use is commercial value so first we'll see what is consumptive use so the value of nature's products that are consumed directly such as firewood fodder and meat in other terms or other words the products which are consumed directly without passing through the market is what consumptive values consumptive use value seldom appear in national income accounts the most important point of consumptive use is that some rural communities which are closest to the forest or natural areas can prosper through the sustainable harvesting of wildlife species such as hunting it is a direct consumption example collection of berries mushrooms herbs plants these are all consumptive uses next is the productive use in this the products that are commercially harvested for exchange in formal market is what productive use is each species is valuable to humans the global collection of genes species habitats and ecosystem is the resource that provides for human need now and it is also very essential for human survival in the future this is often the only value of biological resources that is reflected in the income accounts also so this is what productive use is such as products such as animal skin ivory medicinal plants honey bees fiber gums etc so these are all come under productive use they have a market value now the second one is indirect values now indirect values deals primarily with the functions of ec functions of ecosystem they do not normally appear in national accounting system but they may outweigh direct values when they can they are computed and it reflects the value of biological diversity to society locally or at large rather than to individual levels so direct values often derive from indirect values because harvested species of plants and animals are supported goods and services provided by their environment so there are two types of indirect values non consumptive use mein there are social values ethical values aesthetic values and the last is optional values non consumptive values these are indirect values of ecosystem which functions such as watershed protection or photosynthesis or regulation of climate and production of soil pollination or habitat for other species these are all non consumptive use values or indirect values of ecosystem now next is social value 
Now, what is social value? As you know, biodiversity in in India particularly is very important for religious, spiritual, and other cultural uses. Many plants and animals have ritual significance. The entire ecosystem is utilized for cultural and spiritual purposes. The some examples of it are among auspicious flowers offered in temples are hibiscus offered to goddess Kali or datura which is flowers to Shiva. Gujarat Sami or prosperous Pisagoras which is used in sacrificial fires. Sacred value was attached to patches of forest believed to be ab abode of gods and ancestors and utilized only for prayers and related rituals. A network of such sacred grooves is still present in India and it is evidence of some part of India. The next is ethical values. Although economic arguments can be advanced to justify the protection of biological diversity, there are also strong ethical arguments for doing so. Protecting biological diversity can be justified on ethical grounds as well as economic grounds. Ethical arguments assert that humans have a duty to protect species based on their intrinsic value which are unrelated to human needs. In aesthetic values, you can see it is regardless of our own material or self-interest, we should treat nature very respectfully. Enlightened self-interest, arguing that preserving biodiversity and developing our knowledge of it will make us better and happier people. Nearly everyone enjoys wildlife and Joy makes our lives good, but loss of biodiversity could very well limit the creative energies of people in the future and thus restrict the development. Examples are that the beauty of wildflowers in glaciers, in hiking, canoeing, mountain climbing are physically, intellectually and emotionally very satisfying. People spend tens of billions of dollars annually in these pursuits, proof enough of their value. The last is optional value. The intangible values of biodiversity that is keeping options for the future and simply knowing that certain species exist. A species potential to provide an economic benefit to human society at some point in the future is its optional value. As the needs of society change, so must the methods of satisfying those needs. The option value of species could be only recently utilized by human beings. Some examples of it are health agencies and pharmaceutical companies are making a major effort to collect and screen species for compounds that have the ability to fight cancer. In some cases, well-known species have found to have exactly those properties needed to deal with a significant human problem. So students, can you, can you all tell me what is the value of a tree? The tree that lives for 50 years generates Rupees 5.3 lakhs worth of oxygen. It recycles rupees 6.4 lakhs worth of fertility and facilitates rupees 6.4 lakhs worth of soil erosion control and creates rupees 10.5 lakhs worth of air pollution control. And it provides rupees 5.3 lakhs worth of shelter for birds and animals. So this is the value of a tree which it gives us. Besides it provides flowers, fruits and timber. So when one tree falls or it is felt something worth more than rupees 33.9 lakhs is lost. So that is why we all should consider deforestation again. So students, I hope 
you all must have understood the values of biodiversity what are the direct and indirect values thank you